Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Marvel Legends figure Colossus. So I'm going to take a look at him and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe buttons. They're small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so here he is. Um, he's a really good looking figure. I love the whole look to this figure. He definitely captures that classic Colossus look. Now, for any of you who don't know, uh, the early Marvel Legend line was one of the first toy lines that actually had like a whole bunch of articulation. Uh, they started that whole trend, and the whole reason was for it was to you know make it so you could pose your characters however you wanted them and what have you. So once again, I love the whole classic Colossus look. So let's give him the rotation. All right, I mean, the detail to him is really nice. Love the whole look of this figure. All right. And he does have a bunch of points of articulation. So his head's on a ball joint. All right, you got a shoulder joint which has a swivel, you have an elbow joint, you have a wrist, oops, got a wrist joint right here, all right, so that can spin, you also got a wrist joint here, finger joints, and a thumb joint, all right, put his arms up, and we'll get rid of the stand, try to keep them on one, um, he's just that massive, so he has a joint here underneath the ribs. He has a joint here, right at the belt line. You got a thigh joint with a swivel. You got a double knee joint, okay. You have a swivel here. You got an ankle joint and a toe joint. So like I said, these figures have a lot of points of articulation. They started calming some of these joints down just because it just got to be a little excessive. But overall, you know, it's a really cool figure. Now, he does come with a couple of things. So, he comes with this. Oops. And Colossus. All right. This here, which is a busted up part of um, Sentinel. Uh, it's meant to be a stand, but there's no real way to stand them on here. You know, so you could either put it in front of them, behind them does have a hole here so if you wanted to like hang it up behind him or something like that so if, you know whatever all right let me move him up here he also comes with a reissued issue of um x uncanny x-men 129 now to me this was the best era of your x-men you know uh 100 through probably 200 or whatever because you got the most iconic line of X-Men in it, you know, Wolverine, Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Cyclops, and the Phoenix. Also, Banshee, I think, was part of that line, too. And these were just some great storytelling. So to get a reissued version of this so you can actually sit down and re read it, it was really nice. And I liked when that wave was doing that. I think it was like the first couple of waves, and then they stopped giving you the books. So overall... I think he's a great figure. If you're a real big Marvel fan or an X-Men fan, I would highly recommend this figure to go with your collection. So with that being said, I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So until the next one, late.